Hey guys, welcome to the HD channel. And in this video, I'll be checking out this Re Dual Mode Multimedia Keyboard by Re. And uh, the main reason why I bought this is because it has a scroll scroll wheel in it. So I bought this to use on my Android box, and uh, I just thought it'd be nice and useful. So basically, you got a, a full QWERTY keyboard right in front of your hands, and also you got a lot of mini scroll wheel as well, which makes navigation could be super quick, super easy, and really natural. So Re are, do make really quality mini keyboards. So I've used a Re keyboard before. So I've got ones that's pretty similar to the uh, the basic Re X8, and it's very common at the moment on the online as well. And I've also used an uh, unbranded one as well. So the unbranded one looks the same as the Re one, but I did drop my my unbranded one on the floor. Just a light little drop, and some of the keys fell apart, and the, and it's practically useless. So from then on, I didn't know I didn't know that Re do make quality little keyboards. So I have been happy with this brand before. So that's the main reason why after when I saw that this keyboard was made by Re, I just tr pulled the trigger. So as always, when the brand is very popular, there's lots of fakes out there as well. So on firstly on the key, on the front of the box there, as you can see, there's a QR code there with a little scratch panel. So what you do with this is like you scratch the panel off, and then you can go, and the QR code will take you to the re website, which then you can put the serial number in just to ensure that you do have a, a authentic re product. Okay, so it's a nice thing to put on there as well. Uh, so this is plug and play. So this can be used on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, Smart TV, Xbox, PS4, or even maybe the PS5 or anything with uh, USB uh, input as well is plug and play. So once you put the dongle in there, uh, you can actually use it straight away. There's no drivers or software to install, which is great, easy access. So on the bottom there, it says Duo Mode. So there's just some information about the keyboard. So it lets you know that it's a backlight. It has a unit input experience because uh, obviously it's, you've got a full uh, QWERTY keyboard in there as well. So it's going to be nice and quick and easy to type. And also it's wireless as well because it does come with a USB dongle as well. So you can enjoy your keyboard wirelessly. On the back here as well, just some more product information about the mini keyboard there. So again, it's emphasis on the unique scrolling experience. So there is scroll wheel there. So that's the main reason why I bought this. It's because of the scroll wheel. It just makes uh, navigation much more easier. There is a touch button here as well, and the DPI is adjustable. Control or PC, Smart TV, Entertainment. So you can uh, actually just plug the US the USB dongle into anything, and it's plug and play. So nice, easy setup. No software drivers needed. And at the bottom there, obviously, I got this from Amazon, and the sticker is covering that. But basically, that's just em emphasis on the innovative mouse wheel feature so again i think i'm not sure i'm not sure if this is a feature uh, specifically for re only because i've not actually seen any other mini keyboards i mean i've seen lots of mini keyboards out there there is lots out there from different brands and even unbranded ones as well but i've actually the only ones i've seen on these mini keyboards are from re so it must be a, a re feature uh, from their own like r d and one of their own designs uh, but I think a lot of comp competitors will catch on to this as well because I do think it's a really great unique feature as well uh, that's a great selling point and also makes makes the experience for the user so much more better and easier as well so let's uh, open this and uh, check out the keyboard boom so we've got a bad boy here so that's in the poly bag there so I'll just put that to one side first what else do we have here uh, instructions not something that we need really I don't think but um, if I do get stuck I check that out but other than that usually it's just chucked to one side and also a charging cable as well so no charging brick here but the great thing with this it's uh, USB-C so that's a great positive point for me because obviously uh, everything is on USB-C at the moment. So my phone, uh, so I can use the same charger that I used to charge my phone to charge this as well. So it's just less messing about with wires and stuff as well. Uh, shame there's no power brick, but it's fine. I mean, I can use this to uh, charge it through my laptop or I can just, to be honest, I probably won't even use this cable to be honest. I just use a charger cable from my phone to charge it up. So that's fine. Okay, so let's open this and get into the main star of the show. Boom! Okay, so that's the focus. 
So this is the re keyboard, the i4. So you can see there, it is a bit more bigger and bulkier than the X8, but I feel it does feel nice in the hand. It's actually wider than actually a phone actually. So it is quite wide if you try to hold it this, this way. But overall, I do think that it's, it's a nice size. And what I really like about this design, besides the scroll wheel, is also the trigger buttons on the side as well. I think it looks so cute. And I do like the color scheme of this as well. Uh, with the, it's not really a black, it's, not, it's quite a, like a red dark gray. Red dark gray. And then you got the trigger buttons and also scroll wheel with the red accents there. I do think it looks really nice. So you got your navigation buttons here. So I think it'd be it's it does feel really natural. Like you hold it like a control game controller. So you got your navigation keys here, which you can navigate. And then if you want to click on the mouse, you can just do that. So that's your left button mouse and that's your right button mouse. So if you're scrolling, you can actually do this with one hand actually. So when you when you're doing navigation, you just click on that. So you don't need to move hand or use another hand. Or you can also like just scroll up and down as well if you're scrolling on the page just makes it easier for you to scroll as well so the buttons do have a nice clicky button and the buttons are a nice size as well so the buttons are a little bit bigger and wider than the x8 the buttons are more of a little oblong more than a square here so at the bottom of the control of the keyboard there you've got the charging port so that's USB-C so that's a great little thing there. I really love it that it has USB-C. So this is the back panel there. So you can see there, there's like some design there. There's a bit of some dots here to make your grip a bit better. But to be honest, it's still quite a little bit slippy actually. It would be nice if these two, pan these two pads here were rubber. I think it would have felt much more better in your hand because to be honest, it does feel a bit slippy to be honest. There are some dots there for a bit of texture, but to be honest, it's still quite slippy, to be honest. So if, re, if you're watching, it'd be nice if these two panels here are rubber. It feels so much more nice than the hand and it, it won't feel so slippy. So if I open the back panel here, it, uh, it does come supplied with a battery as well, uh, which uh, you can charge obviously through your uh, USB-C cable here. And also you got a supplied dongle as well. So this, dog, this, so this little uh, mini dongle, uh, you can plug this into any item that you want, to, you want to use it on and you can control, use the keyboard on it. So a great thing with this, I know it's only a little minor nitpick, but it's black, the same color as the keyboard. Because on the X8, for some reason, the, the dongle is blue, whereas the, uh, the actual keyboard itself is like a red, dark gray stroke black. So it's nice that the little detail there is, is, is there as well. I just put that in there before I lose it. Okay, so uh, so obviously there. So you got your uh, navigation buttons there, uh, on off switch. You got all the you got all your buttons there that you would expect on the keyboard. So obviously you got your volume keys, mute button, go back, home button, menu button. You got your scroll wheel, which is really nice. You got all the buttons there you would expect on a, on a normal QWERTY keyboard. So all the buttons are there. And it does have a nice satisfying click. Don't know if you can hear that, so I'll just... So it is really nice, a clicky button. So the button feels really nice. I, I, I think it is a nice size. It feels nice in the hand. And the great thing, what I really liked about this as well, well, the main reason why I bought this as well, besides the scroll wheel and the design, I love loving the tricky buttons, it feels so good, is the lights. So this one, depending on your preference, so you may you may think it's boring, but these this is a white backlight on here, and it's super bright. So, so at the moment, my lighting is quite bright at the moment. You can just about make out the buttons are lit. But if I turn the lights down, So if I turn the lights down, as you see there, the backlight is super bright. 
So I turn the lights down here, you can see the back light is super bright. The white light does emphasize on the keys very clearly. And you can see the, the keyboard is clearly lit and you can see all the letters on the keyboard. And, I, and for me, it looks really super clean. I do prefer uh, a white light compared to like the RGB colors. But obviously then again, that depends on your own preference as well. So yeah, so you can see that super bright there. So I'm just gonna use this. I wanna compare this to the X8. So you, so you basically got a rough idea of what the brightness of it is like. So, so this here is the i4, if I bring in the X8 as well. So this is X8. So on X8, you can, it does have RGB colors, so you can scroll through different colors in here. But you can see the colors are not very bright. So this, so this is probably the brightest color on the X8. So, but if you compare that with the i4, it's a big difference. You can see how clearly the, the, the letters look on the i4. On X8, you can just about make out what the letters are. So, the, so the, the green on the X8 is probably the brightest color. So if I try to scroll through, I just want to give you a rough idea of like how bright the i4 is. Yeah, so that is the brightest color. So if I compare that to the i4, you can see a big difference. But obviously that depends on your preference as well. So if you're interested in checking out a review on this X8 as well, I do have that on another video. So if you are interested in that, please check it out. So I'll just turn the lights back on again. Okay, you can see there. I just put them side by side. So you've got like a rough idea on size. So you can see there. So um, the X8 here is a bit narrower, a bit smaller. It's a little bit taller. But well, this is it's more compact and it fills in like this. Scroll wheel like this. Whereas the i4 is a bit more bigger, a bit more bulkier, but the buttons are a lot bigger, a little bit bigger as well. So obviously you see the buttons are the i4 buttons are more of oblong, where the X8 buttons are square. So it just depends on how big your buttons, you want your buttons or how you want it. But for me, uh, the i4 is the clear winner. This is, for me, this is the better keyboard uh, compared to this X8. So the main reason why I, I prefer this i4 is uh, the trigger buttons. So it feels more easier, for example, if I'm like, if I'm navigating by one hand, I can navigate like this. And then if I want to click on anything, I just click on like that. So much more easier. Uh, the scroll wheel is the same placement as the X8. Nice and easy. Uh, the colors, the, the RGB, sorry. The backlight on here is super bright and the white light is super clean. So I do like the really super clean white light on it. And also another massive Browning points is the USB-C charging port as well. So again, that's another selling point for me. So USB-C charging port, nice, super clean, white backlight, screw wheel, main reason why I bought it. And also the trigger buttons here as well. So for me, the i4 is the better keyboard uh, compared to the X8, but don't get me wrong, the X8 is also a great little keyboard as well, uh, but they're just some more uh, things I don't like about X8 compared to the i4. So I hope you guys find this video useful. If you like this video guys, click on the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click on the subscribe button. And as always guys, I hope to see you soon, and ciao for now.